Jim Byers and welcome to the Speed Horse Weekend Wrap Up. This is our weekly look at news and top stakes events in quarter horse racing. Here comes a move from Midnight Cartel, who looks to win it. Midnight Cartel, a Zoom Diamond, Midnight Cartel, gonna win it by a head. On Saturday, Midnight Cartel captured her first stakes victory in the Grade 3 Black Gold Futurity 330 division at Will Rogers Downs. With Jimmy Brooks in the irons, Midnight Cartel broke on top and held off the competition to tally by a neck. The two-year-old filly was bred by Henry Brown and is by Carter's Cartel out of Nightlines. She's owned by Abelardo Flores Jr. and Carlos Lozano, and is trained by Eddie Willis. The race before on Saturday's card at Will Rogers, Heavens Assure drew away late in the Kansas Jackpot Futurity for her first stakes win. Under the guidance of Jesus Salazar, the two-year-old filly broke second and quickly took over to win by a length and a quarter. Heavens Assured is by Streak and Dash out of Dynamite Friends. She was bred by Roners, Daryl and Nancy Powell, and is trained by Gary Walker. At Los Alamitos on Sunday, remembering Spence giggled at the top weight of 127 pounds in registering a handy score in the Sgt. Pepper feature handicap. Under just a hand ride from Francisco Rubio, the heavy favor cruised home by three parts of a length for owner Rosa Barbosa and trainer Juan Alleman. Remembering Spence is a three-year-old gelding by T.R. Dasher out of Sable's Bono, bred by Edward Allred. In his first out at Los Alamitos, a Corona Habit secured his first stakes win Saturday night in a wire-to-wire -wire victory in the Plan Handicap. The race is for horses based in Canada and the Intermountain or Northwest regions. Breaking on top from the two-hole, the two-year-old gelding led every jump to win by a half-length. A Corona Habit was bred by Mark and Peggy Brown and is by Corona Check out of Playful Habits. He's owned by Clayton and Kay Russell, trained by Mark Skeen and was ridden by Francisco Rubio. Trials to the Grade 3 New Mexico State Fair Senor and Senorita Futurities took place Friday night at the Downs in Albuquerque. In the Senor Futurity Trials, Down with the Quickness prevailed as the fastest qualifier with Alonzo Rivera aboard. The two-year-old gelding broke third but proceeded to score by a length and a half in the first of three trials for that event. He's by Be Real Quick and out of One Desperate Lady and is owned and trained by his breeder, Terry Smith. In the Senorita Trials, Felicia's Pretty Lucky won the first of three heats and held on for the fastest clocking. After breaking on top, the two-year-old filly overhauled the field to win by a length and a quarter under Adam Martinez. Felicia's Pretty Lucky is by Corona Caliente out of Uncommonly Pretty. She was bred and is owned by Marianne Lujan and is trained by Emilio Cadena Jr. Also in Albuquerque, Old Fashioned Southern Girl claimed the fastest time in her trial to the Grade 3 New Mexico State Fair Breeders Derby at the Downs on Sunday. Under Porfirio Cano, the three-year-old filly hopped at the start but rallied for a one-length victory. Old Fashioned Southern Girl is by Southern Corona and out of Cowgirl Cadillac. She was bred and is owned by Rita Danley and is trained by Fred Danley. On Tuesday at Ajax Downs, Reckless and Wild proved best in the Alex Peacock Memorial Futurity Trials. Breaking on top from the five-hole, the two-year-old gelding went wire to wire as the heavy favorite to post the fastest qualifying time under confident handling by John McInerney. Reckless and Wild is by Wild Boys out of Reckless Wish. He was bred on his own by Marlene and Gary McNichol and is trained by Michelle Woodley. On Sunday, Will Rogers Downs held trials to the Grade 1 Pot of Gold Futurity for paint horses with two-time Futurity winner I'm Flashing the Chicks clocking the fastest qualifying time. With jockey G.R. Carter in the irons, the two-year-old gelding broke third and quickly took command to win by a half length. He's by SF Royal Quick Flash out of Game Chicken. I'm Flashing the Chicks was bred and is owned by Shirley Wheeler and is trained by Luis Villafranco. On September 1st, the third annual Sam Thompson Memorial Jockey Award was presented to G.R. Carter, Quarter Horse Racing's all-time leading money earner among jockeys. With more than $62.3 million in earnings, Carter has become one of the top riders in his field. They patterned this award after, uh, after the uh, George Wolf Award, which is uh, the equivalent in thoroughbred racing. It's been going on for, I think, 40, 50 years. Speed Horse Magazine and the Jocks Guild got to talking and they decided to do one after a quarter horse rider, and about the same time that they were talking about developing that type of award was when Sam went down, and uh, they, they really 
they really picked the perfect guy to honor, and I'm, it's, it's, it's pretty special, and I'm pretty proud of it. And, you know, you look back at the past winners and all, and they'll see my name on the list one of these days, and it'll mean even more to me as the older I get. Sam Thompson's parents were on hand to present GR with a beautiful crystal trophy, an engraved belt buckle, and an original Linda Mannion painting of Sam Thompson created specifically for this event. Ruidoso Downs ended its meet on Labor Day with an all-time high attendance of more than 24,000 taking in the All-American Futurity card. While on Sunday, All-American Derby Day, Ruidoso had a record turnout for a non-All-American Futurity card with more than 21,000 on hand. Overall, the track's handle showed an increase of 8.9%, and attendance figures were up 3.4% over last year. Wicked Courage was named Ruidoso Downs as Horse of the Meat, Owned by Andrew Smith and trained by Luis Villafranco, the three-year-old gelding won both the Grade 1 Ruidoso Derby and Grade 1 Rainbow Derby during a nine-race win streak. He's by Captain Courage out of Wicked Pamela. Sentences were handed down on Thursday for three men involved in a complex money laundering scheme for a Mexican drug trafficking cartel. Jose Trevino Morales and Francisco Colorado Sessa were each sentenced to 20 years in prison for their involvement in the scheme that involved the purchase, training, and breeding of American quarter horses. A third man, Fernando Solis Garcia, was given 13 years in prison. On Saturday, jockey Rodrigo Aceves became the seventh jockey to win 1,700 quarter horse races at Los Alamitos. In the fifth race of the night, Aceves rode Boogie's Bullet to victory and joined the Track 1700 Club. He has 84 career stakes wins at Los Alamitos, 10th all-time. Aceves is also a four-time leading quarter horse jockey at Los Al. Thanks for joining us. Have a good week. Please return on Monday for the next Speed Horse Weekend Wrap-Up.